And welcome back, folks, to yet another exciting episode of Rogue Legacy. A legendary barbarian queen last time in the year 3000 and something. Right, who else do we have? No, we haven't played as a dwarf in a long time and I missed a lot of loot because of that. And the Lich King is not a bad option and the Flame Barrier a pretty good spell, so let's try that. Why not? 22,000 gold. What do we need? Hmm. Already got the Imperial armor. Hmm. I may not want anything much other than uh, upgrading. we doing on these it's another one completed so that's one two three four four of our armor types have all the runes and the last one only needs two more we're soon gonna have to just buy runes and and armor pieces that we don't even want just to you know finish up in the meantime, we can probably use this money maybe on Deftify? What else is there? It's horribly expensive. Mana cost down, potion up is also not a bad idea. Especially for stuff, for, especially for characters like, say, the Barbarian who relies on, uh, on food to regenerate health, right? But I'm guessing Deftify would probably not be a bad idea. Also, health and armor and basic damage, too. But getting some more basic damage, health, armor. That's too much to buy that anymore, but that's all right. More damage. Sure, sure. Hmm. And one potion upgrade, right. It's not a lot, but it's a lot of basic upgrades and I think we do need those too. Just to, you know, make some progress on actual survivability. Because that's been kind of a problem for me, hasn't it? Yeah, right, I get to keep all of my 79 gold pieces. Thank you so much. Balding. Right. Yeah, that's really not the best of uh, uses for the O-Ball, but it's not like I have anything to upgrade that would have so much, uh, whoa, such a high gold cost that I couldn't use my 20,000 gold anyway, or that I would want to keep my 20,000 gold, you know? Hmm. I guess we have to kind of consider what we want to do now. So we've defeated three of the bosses, that leaves just the one in the Land of Darkness. If I just want to get more gold, then I should probably go through all of the other areas. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Hit once, that's alright. Hit once is not alright though. In this room it is not. Okay. Maybe we should just uh, try to stay at a reasonable amount of health. Maybe upgrade all of our health first and then actually go for the land of darkness. You know, we haven't been there too much. Try to survive a little bit every now and then. But say we just upgrade our health to maximum and then we actually go down there. And we can always, of course, ow. We can, of course, always uh, come back here to heal ourselves in the uh, castle, in the forest, and maybe even in the tower. Now, I don't really need this dwarven tunnel, but thanks, anyway. Yeah, I won't need that just yet. Some prayer might be nice, though. Ah! That, of course, sucks, now that I actually know what it does, so... Maybe we'll find another one at some point. Not sure how much gold we lose from every hit, but it's, it is annoying. 
definitely... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was a waste. Yeah, that was quite a lot of gold, actually. Wow, and I keep getting hit by this guy. It's kind of sad, actually. I do need to get rid of this curse. Although, to be fair, I think that's actually the only negative thing that I think I ever got from the uh, from the shrine, you know. Everything else has been beneficial, or at least not harmful. Not that I know, I mean, uh, I'm still not sure what Hyperion's whatever does, that thing. But probably nothing too bad. Now here's a question for you all. Um, when I get hit, I obviously drop money, right? But do I also lose money? As in, will money actually be destroyed, sort of? Or will I only drop it? And thus usually be able to uh, recover it all, you know? Because if it also destroys money, that would be doubly bad. I'm certainly not gaining a lot of gold this time around, but... Uh, yeah. Maybe we can just uh, try and get closer to the boss. Let's go to the far right first. Still need to kill a couple of enemies after all, so uh, there's already the uh, forest, I guess. Whoa. That was too close. I have very little in terms of health regeneration, actually. That might be an issue. Yeah, I should have re-equipped some of those runes, actually. Because that's a problem. Just two health per kill? Not enough. I mean, I would at least want four. And if we're going, gonna go somewhere like uh, the Land of Darkness, then, I don't know, six or even eight might be better. Although I guess it doesn't help really a lot against uh, the boss. So if we're actually gonna try for the boss of the Land of Darkness... This might not be such a bad setup, but yeah, who knows. We'll see. We'll see. I guess we can just uh, kill some stuff here and uh, get some gold. Oh, there's a walk. That was weird. Right. I don't mind you. At all. Still gaining more maximum health, so uh, let's not waste that. Let's keep uh, let's keep killing stuff, basically. This is the idea. Also, you die. Thank you. Jerk. Ah, water. That's good. Not that I need it right now, but uh, it's always nice to know there's a fountain around. Ah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't... Right. It's hard to keep count. I don't know if we actually lost gold or don't. Take no damage, huh? Yeah, that didn't work. Flying is great and all, but it's not exactly precision, you know? I still love this one. And this one even more. Yeah, this is a nice song. Let's play that while we're here. So calming. So nice. Too bad it won't play when we go to the Land of Darkness. Because I would need some calming music then. Ah, 
Oh, god damn it. This is not working out at all. That's better. Yeah, I'm not really calm anymore. But I still keep gaining more maximum health, so we're not at the uh, end yet. We can keep going. And hopefully regaining our health like that. Yeah. And I would also like to get some mana back actually at this point. Oh, you go away. Ah. Right. Spraying coins all over the place. Not a good thing. Really not. So if I lose like 500, I guess that means I lose about a third of my current goal. Which is awful. Whenever I get hit. Maybe it's actually randomized, but right there it was like 525, I think. So that's a lot, I guess. A third, that's pretty awful. I mean, to be fair, Sonic the Hedgehog actually loses all of his rings. That would be even more cruel, but yeah. Whoa. Yeah, don't just jump down, I guess. There we go. Hopefully we can get back out of this pit. Yeah, I can barely do this even in a calm situation, so... Uh, oh god, no. I'd rather not. I already got way too hurt. There are plenty of other places we can go for now. To the right, for instance. So let's do that. I wouldn't want to uh, stress myself out. Not when you have such nice music. Ah. Uh, look at the moon. Look at the floating rocks. Isn't it all so calming? I really like this song. It's a nice one. What's up with this? I don't know. Just gold, I guess. Defeat all enemies. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Surely. Assuming I can actually hit stuff. Yeah, not gonna happen. That's too bad. I would have liked to get another rune or something. Ow. Yeah, not working out too well. Right. Okay, we are still doing okay. Not great. But we are getting somewhere. And as long as I get some proper health drops like that, I'm gonna be alright. Unless I get hit. Like that. Again and again. But again, let's be calm. Let's enjoy the music and actually get hit. Hurt a lot more. <sighs> it's kinda hard to stay calm. And also, that was my own fault. That's what happens when you stop being calm. You kind of make mistakes like that. At least there are less spikes around now. Making the world a safer place, one spike at a time, by getting hit. Ah. Oh no, I missed one coin. Oh well. Hmm, well there's gold over there, so let's get hurt, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if this was actually worth it, probably totally not, yeah, especially not because of that and all that, and yeah, and that, so... Overall, a really bad idea on my part, but I don't care. This run is not about gold. I decided just now. This run is about getting to the land of darkness. I mean, I guess I decided that earlier, but I would have liked more gold, I guess. Ah, but you can't have everything, you know. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm actually gonna eat some of that. Uh, how about no? Uh, are we actually still gaining any... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna make use of that. Are we actually still gaining any uh, health from killing enemies? No, we are not. Right, that means we are gonna go back to the castle. Hopefully recover some health. And also find the uh, way to the land of darkness. So we got almost 400 health. Maximum health, that is. It's not bad. I mean, a barbarian has more than that, but, uh, you know. Yeah, I can't be bothered anymore. There we go. Right, so, going down towards the land of darkness. And I guess we're actually gonna get one chest after all. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get hit yet. Mind. But I think we're gonna make it, alright. Nice. Little bit of health regeneration, I guess. Not bad. And a rune! So already this is a great success, because that means there's only one rune left to be found. I wonder what will happen. Oh, another defeat all enemies. Oh god, what the hell. Inferrite? That is a horrible thing. But it's dead now. I'm pretty sure the spiky balls, even though they kind of recover your health when they get killed, I'm pretty sure they don't actually count as enemies, so I'd assume we don't have to... Yeah, see, we don't have to actually destroy the spiky balls. That would suck too, because it would mean that I would actually have to, you know, plant my face into them and hope they die from the retribution damage. Another rune, perhaps? Yes! Bounty rune. Is that really all? I think that means we have all the runes in the game. Or at least all the ones that I know of. That's actually kind of awesome. No, no, no. This is alright. Uh, yeah, all the runes in the game. Assuming there aren't any hidden ones, which there very well might be. So that's good. Right, any more? We're just gonna gather everything that we can. Right, that's all. Well, we'll see whether we'll have any luck in the actual land of darkness now. Well, that starts well. It's a very good start, actually, with the uh, health increase. Right. So far not doing too shabbily. But that can easily and quickly change, of course. And it's a lot of luck, too. Can I hit you? Nope. Does fire hurt you? It actually does, even though you are on fire. I guess you best fire... Uh, you best fire? No, you best fight fire with fire, as they say. So it actually makes sense here. Some kind of demented way. Aha, uh -huh, you're a blaze lock, aren't you? I'm gonna rush in and uh, horribly murder you. Oh! Oh, they have a lot of health, though. That is bad. There we go. That's better. No, 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 no. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Dealing some proper damage now. Aha! Look at us making progress in the very land of darkness. I know I'm probably gonna die either to the enemies or to the boss easily, but why not give it a shot? I mean, we're not gonna get better at it if we're not gonna try. Hmm. Whoa, that was a nice shot there, skeleton. I have to admit. But I'm back at full health, actually. Wow, I'm lucky. I wonder if the uh, potion upgrade also determines, or at least influences, how much food and potions drop. 
I doubt it. I mean, it would probably say so on the on the skill, right? But I really got a lot of food this time around, which is unusual to say the least. Oh, okay. Right. That was not perfect, but it kind of got the job done, I guess. Yeah, that's gonna be a theme, isn't it? You're not gonna walk over the spikes, are you? Actually, you might. Yeah. There's a bit too many spiky balls around now, for my taste. Also, this is a dead end, so I'm not even sure. I don't think I really even want to be in there. Before we jump down, we're gonna climb up instead. Yeah, I got that. You are, after all, just a... Uh, Oh, just a guy like from the tower. Actually, I think I can just be sneaky here. Yeah, that works. Gonna poke your shins from inside this tunnel. There we go. It's not even that much gold, actually. Just a little bit. But being a dwarf does have its advantages every now and then, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of them. Right. And this might not work out. I mean, I do get to kill them, kind of, but I take too much damage. Much too much. Especially considering how little my health regeneration actually is. So, yeah. Hmm. Not a dead end. I might actually need to go through here. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Doubly oh god. Oh, I'm so dead, man. I'm so toast. Okay. Wonder if there's a limit to how much gold you can lose, as in cumula cumulatively, right? So I keep losing gold, but I'm guessing there isn't. Oh, give me something, anything else. Ponce de Leon's Oboe. Right, I need that to uh, unlock the tower's alternate boss, I think. Uh huh. Whoa. Yeah, pyrites still suck. Oh, what's that? Blue bite. Okay. Not okay, not okay. Okay. Right, still some stuff that I haven't seen before. Also, this is another dead end. And there's not even a chest in here, so I don't know why I bother. Oh. Ow. I note that spikes actually cannot be broken from uh, getting damaged. Which is bad. Right, I took a lot of damage. Unfortunately, if we want our excursion to continue, we're gonna have to leave. I know that in the, uh, in the forest there's still this, uh, this nifty little fountain thingy. It's like near there. No, actually, it's nearer to the other one. And I guess that also means we're gonna have to... Uh... Ah. Wow, how did I mess that up so badly? Um, I guess that also means we're gonna have to go back to the castle and try to find some more food there. In a way, it's good that we left everything mostly intact, you know, we didn't really 
clear out too much of anything. That's a dead end. Um, so there's still enemies to fight, but on the other hand, it's not like I'm gonna gain a lot of health from fighting enemies. So really, I need to find food. Yeah, but I really should have changed the runes that we have equipped. Doesn't look good. It really doesn't. Right, so this is pretty much a dead end in terms of castles. So let's go elsewhere. We're gonna have to go up. At least we got rid of the damned Hedgehog's Curse, so any gold we find from now on, we will hopefully get to keep. Uh huh. Ah, there we go. Already some food found. Very good. The, uh, the life leech will help a little bit, but I really need to rely on food, I think. It's just too little. Too little in terms of life leech. At least we get to uh, find some more gold along the way, I guess. You know, kind of undoing all the damage that the uh, stupid curse there did to us. Who'd have thought that uh, solving the curse would be thanks to the uh, Land of Darkness, eh? Right. Oh, come off it. Really? Not even the easiest of enemies hurt me. Although, to be fair, these guys, I mean, I keep getting hurt by them all the time, basically. It's basically, the, it's, it's the way they move and the way I move. I, I keep jumping into them or flying into them, whichever it may be at the time. You are not real. There we go. Yeah. Unlike many other enemies, they don't get... They, they keep moving. And... Yeah, like that. If they don't hurt you with their projectiles, they're gonna hurt you with their body. Which... Doesn't make too much sense to me. I mean... It's not like they're spiky or on fire, like the pyrites or anything. No. They're just dudes in robes. Levitating dudes, but still. I wish there was some way not to get hurt by them. Right. I mean, obviously I wish I was invulnerable, but no, I mean not to get hurt uh, from touching them. You know, just get hurt by the projectiles? Man, I would rush into things and hurt them so bad. Uh-huh. Not a good idea. Um... Okay. Right. But I guess that's part of the balancing, right? If I could just rush in, I could easily hurt them and kill them with, before they can hit me. On the other hand, it is particularly awful when you're a dwarf because not only are you short, your, sh your sword is short also. And that's kind of unfair. Wish I was a giant. Ah! Okay, I think we're gonna make it out of this awful room. And there's food here! Good! That was worth it. And we're already in the Maya. Both directions, by the way. But more food, so that's good. Uh, I guess we can go back to the Land of Darkness now. It's not like... Uh, it's not like we need to be at full health to try to continue. I mean, we might drop some more food down here too. Right. Oh yeah, more, more critical hits is something I would like to upgrade too. Not even the damage, just the critical chance, you know? That would also be really awesome. Might want to do that next time. Aha. Uh -huh. If I remember correctly, I get about 118 or at least more than 100 health from these fountains, so I'm actually not gonna use it. I would waste health if I used it right now. Let's leave that there and come back if we need it. Very nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, defeat all enemies. Well. 
Ähm. Okay. Alright, alright. Now you might say that was a failure, but we actually did kill a lot of stuff. And remember there's a fountain here, so uh, I hope we can do this. Right. Little bit of health. Little bit of mana. Now let's try and open this next chest. I wonder what will be in it. Maybe... Maybe now there will be blueprints. Okay. Right. Can I actually do this without dying? I might not be capable of doing that. Well, it is kind of close. Right, let's be careful here. Yay! Oh! Rather than a blueprint, we get a stat boost. That is also very promising. Imagine if every fairy chest from now on would contain these. That would be quite awesome. Well, we are once again... Yeah. At this point, we need to leave again. That's alright. There's not a lot of the castle left, actually. We might actually get some more health back somehow. Aha, another fountain. I have to admit, I'm not playing my best here. And I really should have chosen different runes and all that. But we are getting very lucky at least. That kind of makes up for a lot of my bad decisions. So I like it. Right. Now, let's go and look for the last remaining rooms. Actually, that's the wrong way, isn't it? No, it's the right way. I'm silly. Okay. What else do we have? Well, that's six hit points right there. Assuming I... yeah. Assuming I get to kill that chair right without getting hurt. Defeat all enemies. Well, maybe. Yeah! Hit points! Man! It was about time I got all the runes, because from now on, everything we open, apparently, or at least a lot of what we open, will contain stat increases. Ah, no you don't. And that's gonna be awesome, because that means... Well, once we have all the... Uh, I assume that we can still get blueprints from fairy chests. But assuming we ever got all of those, you'd think that uh, we would get stats boosts from all fairy chests after that. I would actually like to get some more uh, blueprints too, by the way. Oh. If only because uh, I would like to see if there are any better items I could unlock. I mean, I do like the uh, Imperial stuff I have so far, but I only have two parts of that, and uh, it's far from the last armor type, so I'd assume that there's more to come. Also, I got hit here way too much in this area. Still keep taking too much damage, even from these early sections. I mean, uh, I guess if I... Upgraded my armor more. That would be less of an issue, but It's really that I want to upgrade any everything isn't it? Everything is useful well, almost everything Da ah, damn you Okay, that kind of makes up for it, partially. Eh, I can't reach it. No matter.
Hmm. Looks like there's a dead end down here. Damn. Yeah. Wow. That was so awful. Yeah. I think we can be pretty sure that uh, this run will not bring us the victory against uh, the Land of Darkness boss that we crave. But I do have to say it was very successful regardless. We got all the remaining runes, we got a bunch of stats upgrades. I'm actually going somewhere. Also means though that uh, we're gonna have to try this again and uh, hopefully equip some ah more fitting runes next time. Stop twitching, please. Thank you. It's kind of confusing at times, isn't it? Right. Yeah, that was pretty much just gold. And I kinda wasted some health there just to get more gold. And that was even worse. Wow. But there you go. Every little bit helps, I guess. Anything left to the castle? Doesn't look like it. So I suppose that means we should probably. Uh. We should probably head uh, to the forest next and hope we can somehow recover health there. It's unlikely that we will actually generate more health than we lose there. Uh, but at least we can uh, try, rather than just outright dying in the Land of Darkness. And also we might be able to uh, gain some more gold. I mean, that's always nice, right? Who knows, there might be tons more of these uh, fountains everywhere and help us out with health. Yeah, now where am I? Yeah, just a little bit further this way, pretty much. Right. Good. Now, where else to go? There's still something next to the boss room, actually. So... There's this golden chest. Why didn't I go here? Huh. Little bit of a mini boss there. Oh, his uh, his rock thing sticks around for a long time. Didn't help him much though. But such an enemy, if you were, say, cornered by such an enemy once, then you'd be pretty much screwed because uh, there's no way to escape there if uh, the fire, not not the fire. I'm I'm getting my stuff confused because of that of all the fire up there, but uh, the rocks wouldn't vanish quickly enough for you to escape. Basically, we're gonna try it. It's stupid and risky, but we're gonna try it. Right. Well, he shouldn't try it, but there you go. Well, we get some mana at least, that's something. And I guess we might even get some health, theoretically, but not really. Right, I can do two at once, I think. Yeah, easily, easily. All right. Warg? Yeah, not getting hit by you. Right, nothing to the right of here, so we can teleport back to the beginning of the forest, basically. <sighs> and go through the spiky room after all. I really don't like going through there because I'm pretty much guaranteed to get horribly hurt. Because I'm just not any good with those platforms. Uh, but I guess there's nowhere else to go inside the forest and I'd rather die here than in the tower. Or in the land of darkness. I'll probably die in the land of darkness though. Eh, in the tower actually. Okay, that was completely useless. Um, nope, that didn't work either. And that killed me. 
Blah, indeed. Make sure to expand your mana. You never know what new skills can be revealed. Yeah. Because we haven't expanded our mana at all yet. Well, it was kind of successful, despite not being quite as good as I'd hoped for. We got a lot of gold, well, not so much, but we got a lot of runes and even some stats bonuses, so that's something. Next time we will try again and maybe equip some different runes and see if we can make it deeper into the land of darkness then. I think with more fitting equipment this might actually work. You know, every enemy we kill is a lot of health if we get the right runes, so we'll see. See you then, folks. Bye.